Great card. They're going down two lands. You're never going to be able to cast that memory. It's cute that you think you will, though. Yeah, go ahead. Kill yourself. Do it. Be honorable. Hello, my fair citizens. My name is Strider Stone. I'm the mayor of Sodium City. And today we have a land destruction deck that will get you into Mythic. How do I know this? Because it got me into Mythic. This deck revolves around some of my favorite land destruction cards, mainly Haphazard Bombardment and Star of Extinction. Haphazard Bombardment is a very unique enchantment and it has a few little quirks and tips about it. So it's a six man enchantment that when it enters the battlefield, you choose four non-enchantment permanents you don't control to put aim counters on them. Now keep in mind that these cannot be enchantments and you cannot control them. So if they are an enchantment creature, you still cannot target them. The other thing to keep in mind is that this is a choose and not a target. So if the opponent has something that's hexproof, you can still put an aim counter on it. Then at the beginning of your end step, if two or more permanents you don't control have counters on them, you destroy one at random. Now, again, there will always be one counter on one permanent at the very end. It will never destroy all four. So if we target four lands, it's only going to destroy three, which is very unfortunate, but that's how it happens. Now, I love the lottery clearly, and that's why I subject myself to this kind of torture, because a 25% chance to kill something usually isn't that great, especially when you have to kill something. But like I said earlier, there are some tricks with this though. Now let's say for instance, the opponent has three indestructible lands and a planeswalker, and you really have to get rid of that planeswalker because it's about to ult. So what you need to do is you play haphazard bombardment, you target three of their indestructible lands, it could be indestructible, whatever, and then the one planeswalker. Now at the end of your turn, when it decides one of those four at random, it will 100% hit that Planeswalker because those other three indestructible lands are invalid targets. That bombardment must destroy something. If there's nothing to destroy, it's not going to do anything. But if there's only one valid target to destroy, it will destroy that one thing. But what this allows for is you to put four additional counters on other permanents and you're going to end up blowing up two things at the end of your turn instead of just one. Now, I always recommend that you have four of these in your deck for this specific reason, because blowing up one thing every single turn is nice, but you can only do that for three turns, so it's kind of lackluster. However, once you get the second one out, then you get four more encounters, so you're destroying two things, but you're only gonna be able to do that for two turns. That's why that third one and then that fourth one are so, so, so important to get. It just goes out of control, it spirals. Star of Extinction is one of our main board wipes. It just kind of blows up a land and does 20 damage to everything. If there's something on the board that can actually survive that, we're probably gonna lose anyway, but we do have a contingency plan, and that is Ugin the Spirit Dragon. Ugin is an eight mana, seven loyalty planeswalker with a plus two that deals three damage to any target. This is just fantastic. It's great because it's a plus two, so it gets to the ultimate very quickly, and it has a lot of loyalty, which is also very good because they can't just hit it with like a burn spell and it's dead. They can't just attack it with a four four and it's dead. It's really, really good. But he also has a minus X ability that exiles all colored permanents with the mana value less than or equal to that X ability. So he comes in with seven loyalty. You can do a minus five and it gets almost everything. And since our haphazard bombardment is six mana, there's not a whole lot of permanents that people play that cost six mana. So you almost never, ever have to actually exile your bombardments. His plus 10 ability is also amazing because you get to draw seven cards, gain seven life, and put up to seven permanents from your hand onto the battlefield. Now, ideally, we could get all four bombardments on the battlefield at this time, but it's usually unlikely. So you end up putting down a second Ugin so you can still get another three damage. You put down some lands. You do kind of whatever you want to do, but hopefully you get some bombardments. I would highly recommend building this deck as we went nine and three with it, giving us a 75% win rate. And it actually got me to mythic pretty easily. So if you're having troubles getting into mythic, this might get you there.
I would also like to take a moment to thank all of the YouTube members and Twitch subscribers. The Sodium City team are very appreciated of you. All your support allows us to keep the channel going and ever improving the video quality that you all enjoy so much. So thank you again. And if you would like more details on what you get when you become a member or a sub, then just hit that join button. You can also catch me live streaming five days a week on Twitch, YouTube, and Kick. Any way you prefer to watch, I will be able to provide it to you for free. If you would like to take this deck and build it at home, it's only going to cost you 44 rares and 7 mythics. So it's only like 10 non-expensive cards. It's really not that bad. But if you want to be a degenerate, that's just kind of what you got to do. So if you want the deck listing, click on that card that pops out at the top right-hand corner of this video. It'll send you on over to my Aether Hub page where you can also follow me over there and get announcements for every single deck that I upload over there. And you can see the history of all of my decks. Or if you just want the text-based version, that'll be in the description below. The best thing that would help grow the channel would be to share these videos with somebody who you think would enjoy them. But of course, we would also love for you to tap that like button, attack that sub button, stay salty, and enjoy the games. Does this hurt us? I feel like it might. Just don't know how yet. I think I'm gonna do Blood Sun first so I can get the card draw. Yeah. <laughs> See, the thing that sucks about this is that I can't even put counters on any of that. So we'll keep that. Gonna need an Ugin. We're gonna need an Ugin, and we have to make sure it doesn't get countered. Are you going to pay for that? Yeah, they have a counter spell. They definitely have a counter spell. They definitely have a counter spell. See, this is completely useless. Yeah, I can't target the opponent with Planetar. I can't do anything with these. Like, I'm actually just kind of. <laughs> And I know they have a counter spell. Like we do, we know they have one. Huh. Two reasons can't add counters. Can't put counters on enchantments anyway. No, no, no. We can't put we can't put counters on their lands. We can't do. We can't. We can literally do nothing. Like even if we wanted to, we can't.
And they got one of our Ugans. Which is our big problem. Andu. We do still have two Andus? Or did we play... No, we have one Andus. Hmm. Unless they milled it. Did they mill it? And we still have one on dues. So that's counter spell. Why did I not blow up their blue source beforehand? I should have blown up their blue source beforehand and then played it. But you didn't. That was actually like the dumbest thing I could have done. Indeed. Out of here. Still love the content. Good to hear. Good to hear. No, yeah, that was my fault. I completely threw that game. We're never going to make it to Mythic with me just punting every single game. All right. We got to focus. Focus. Stop messing around. All right. I haven't seen this card in a minute. It has been a while. I know you said yes, but I was like, oh no, they can't gain life. Uh, just assumed it was fine. I don't, I don't even want to deal with it. Too many counter spells. I already see it happening. I don't want to deal with it. It's just not happening. I don't care. We don't care. Let me tell, <laughs> right, let me tell you. We don't care. I'll take the life in the scry. I will take that too. So we can proctor into Lotus Field. Okay, so this is perfect mana. Proctor, Lotus Field, Decline. We get this. Beautiful. And now... We don't really need a land. We just do that. They might mill the first time. Boom! We didn't need that card anyway. We don't need that card either. Cool. We got four cards off the top that we did not need. That is beautiful. Beautiful. Rude. Hopefully we're not dead. Hopefully. Nope, not dead, not dead. Not dead. Never not dead. Silence. I'll take both of those. Boom! 
<laughs> That's gonna hurt. You love the brawl stuff, similar cascade thing. I am glad you like some of the brawl stuff. Yeah. There's a lot of the brawl the brawl people seem to be the most um the most vocal about liking it, but they used to get the least amount of views, and now they're starting to get more and more views, which I really like. No, leave my leave Brittany alone. I am resilient. Consider this a warning. Rage. Not sure if Charlie is still here, but thanks for the gifty. I'm sure Charlie's still here. I leave you to your duel. Nope. Boom! All right. Still scrying. Another Eugene. That might be a Scoopski Potatoes. Ooh, no, that's a good card for them, though. Okay, getting that land. Unutilized knowledge. Got to get rid of that every time. I don't care. It doesn't look like they have a burn spell. So that's good. They might have got one now. It's dead in the water. We got this. Beautiful. Let's target all of their red sources. Let's try to just cut them off an entire color. That is the ideal situation. Ghost hand. Let's go. Remember the first time you discovered it? I countered exiled spells too. Oh, yeah. Don't remind me. Tarmogoyfs. Am I using Steam or the MTGA client? If you switched over, how is it? I have actually switched over to the Steam client, uh, mainly because <laughs> this is gonna sound stupid. May actually it probably doesn't sound stupid. I switched over to the Steam client because uh, it's cheaper. No, Thoughtseize. Uh, it's cheaper to buy gems. Uh, the taxes is less. The taxes are less. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so I, I buy the money on Steam. Another one. Another Steve. I have a feeling that this is a control deck. And I'm never going to be able to cast that. Or that. But we'll try. All right, what do we got here? Kind of want both of these. Uh, both of these. Yeah. Kind of want both of these. Thank you, opponent. I appreciate it. <laughs> What's up, Gringo? How you doing, baby? 
They knew we had a fateful absence. They knew we had two, actually. Um, I assume they have artifact removal because they are in artifact removal colors. Although a lot of people are no longer running the um, the three mana draw two discard. What is that card called? I forgot what it was. We got it happened to us earlier, but. Um, yeah, the Prismari Command. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mill yourself, fool. Boom! <laughs> yeah, not many people run Prismari Command. So, um, it's not that bad anymore. But, you know. I don't know if they're going to mill me again, honestly. <laughs> this is dangerous if they do that. All right, I was like, you're going to be in a world of hurt. So this is a counter spell. Yeah, in a way they're ever milling again. Could just counter it. You obviously have to counter it. Okay, come on, counter. Come on. We got two counters, though. We did get two counters out of it. It's not the worst. Not the worst. I'm glad you're rocking the Pilates more. The card is sick. Dude, the card is amazing. Uh, they're going to be able to draw a card from Kling. Uh, I do have mana for Fateful Absence whenever they play their uh, Nickel Bolas. I thought about Starve Extinctioning. To prevent them from even casting a Nicol Bolas, but all they would need is another land drop, right? See? This is the second time they've been playing it. Mill yourself. Damn. I didn't actually want that card, but I was like, that's only one, right? It's like, it's only one. It's fine, right? <laughs> Come on. Give me some. We have milled a lot of stuff we don't want to the bottom. Mm -hmm. This is probably the only thing we want now. They're missing a lot of land drops. We really, really want our other three bombardments. Two bombardments? Two. We really want our other two bombardments. I have a feeling they have the seven mana. Do they have the seven mana? I'm going to do this now.
This gives me more... Uh, just in case they sack that, it would have been able to, like, the counterspell situation with all that nonsense. You know what I'm saying? We're going to try to get rid of their red sources. Would be idealistic. We would like to get... We would like to get our Ugin. Oh, hoo, hoo. We'll take a double star. So six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We have literally enough for a double star. So the only other two lands that are, okay, now there's three, but they're not gonna be happy with about with what's about to happen. Do you think they're gonna scoop skip potatoes? Okay, so the fact that they were able to do that means we need to play this, unfloat their mana. Do it again. Get rid of all that. We don't want anything to do with it. We don't want to have four cards in our hand. Mill me. Mill me. I dare you. I double dog dare you. That trigger went off first, so we're perfectly fine. If they have a thought seize, I'll be so sad right now. I'm not going to lie. I know, I'm like, I would be so sad. Watching Ponzo in the morning before you have to go to work. Awesome. You're going to have to counter that pretty hardly. An opportunity to act rashly. Probably should have minus a three that. To fail. Kiki McFace! Welcome to So Deep City. Thanks so much for that follow. I appreciate it. Yeah, if you're on that YouTube stream, make sure to hit the like button. It helps out. It helps out a lot. Okay. I think I do this anyway. I think I just try to gain some life. Because if this is going to do a bunch of damage to me... And it's kind of like whatever. And this is my fate. It's fine. We got another bombardment. Mill yourself. Mill yourself. I know they're never going to do it, but, you know, I want them to. I want them to so bad. I want them to so bad. We've only gotten one person with it so far, and it was Xaxes, but it was the other day. So we can Starve Extinction into Ugin. Because they may counter the Starve Extinction, right? is dirty dirty ooh sniper legolas 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 yep mill yourself mill yourself <laughs> i too like violence in the morning 
So if they don't kill this, I can attack them with Proctor. Okay, just kidding. I cannot. Never mind. I lied. I lied forever. Do you have a counter spell? Perfection is a journey. Consider this a warning. I'll take the two damage. I really don't care. Great card. They're going down two lands. You're never going to be able to cast that memory. It's cute that you think you will, though. Yeah, go ahead. Kill yourself. Do it. Be honorable. Be honorable. <laughs> I, too, have a full grip of cards. Opponent, wait. You should just kill yourself. Come on. Um, the other thing you can do... Uh, potassium obviously helps. Yeah, they got greedy. Um, but yeah, potassium definitely helps. Uh, it's not gonna happen right away. Uh, okay, the reason I never play Proctor and then do Lotus Field, I- because if they have removal, then my Lotus Field is dead in the water. So I always play my Proctor the same turn I play my Lotus Field. It is a tip that I have that I will give from me to you. You think they have a one mana counter spell? No, right? There's no way. Who plays Spell Pierce? That's going to set them back a turn. <laughs> Little did they know, I have another one. <laughs> Little did they know. If they have another one, I'd be sad too. Like, Aww. Come on, give me one more untap land. Untap land. Untap land. Uh, I was like, untap land for an Ugin. Ooh, we got rid of their card draw, but not their land. Banky boy. All right. Nope. Going back down to two lands. <laughs> Are you going to draw another card? <laughs> Still on this Jake like the last time I was here? Yeah. I'm just trying to get to Mythic right now. It's fine. We were close. I didn't realize we were close. And... Yeah. Dude, give me another haphazard bombardment. That would be gross. We gotta kill this little thing so these things can't activate. But if we get another bombardment, that's gross. Gross. Yeah. It's been a couple of years since you've been in the stream. What's going on, Igloo? It has been a minute. What have you been up to?
No, leave Brittany alone. I always feel like he says, do not ignore my draconic breath. You know what I mean? We still have marbles races. Not really. I'll, if I'm doing a giveaway, we'll do some marbles races, but that's about it. Comp magic and new job. Just graduated college. Ooh, grats, grats. What'd you graduate in? Graduating's rough. A lot of people can't do it anymore. Graduating or cap and gown? That's embarrassing. My greatest creation. Like what college? Rather, what's your major? Nobody cares about the college. Are you going to pay for that? They didn't pay for that. Does that make you sad? <laughs> Food and CPG marketing. I don't know what CGP marketing is. I don't know what that is. Do not ignore my draconic talent. Customer package goods. Oh. I do a lot in the food industry, actually. My company does, anyway. We we worked a lot with Cisco and um, PFG. And um, Asia Foods and Kuna. Yeah, a lot of them. Do they have a counter spell? That's the question. I don't. Do they have removal now? And they really don't want my Ugin to ult. Consider this a warning. Oh, I just kill him. Never mind. I come bearing the wish. Pokey. I will destroy. <laughs> just realized there's no Sodium City sign by me. Yeah, it's all green screen now. It's all green screen. I still have the sign. It's over there. I just have nothing to do with it right now. Nowhere to put it. All right, the final boss. Once again. Once again, the final boss. Hashtag Team No Moly. You feel like such a boomer now? Oh no, they mollyed three times. I don't like that. They mullied twice, whatever. I just don't like it. It smells like a combo deck. I don't know what they're doing, but I don't like it. Mike, 13 years old.
Indestructible land deck. Are you going to pay for those? Yeah, I like how I'm playing a land destruction deck. And my final boss is playing indestructible lands. It's uh it's a bit preposterous. Maybe I should have killed that. I will not pay for those. I will not pay for those. Um I don't like that I'm not drawing lands right now. I really, really don't like the fact that I'm not drawing lands right now. If they mill it, they take six. Good job. If they didn't, we drew it and we potentially got to land anyway. They can pay for that. Jesus Christ. Is that indestructible? And indestructible. You're actually hitting me. I have over a 50% chance to get a land right now. Okay. Resolve one. Can't let them have another one of those. That is, that's rough. <sighs> this is bad news, bears. Bad news bears, chat. Look at how many lands I've missed. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. I missed at least seven land drops. Would I got through 18 cards? I've gotten three lands, even if we Lotus fill our own strict proctors, the haphazard bombardments. Yeah. We we need some stuff for Lotus Field, but
There we go. Works for me. Works for me. What is this? Minus four? Am I dead? I don't think so. They just gain a lot of life and draw a bunch of cards. This is minus four. It hurts a lot. So can I do... Yeah. An opportunity Thank God. Thank God. That was a close game. We missed so many land drops. <laughs> Whatever, we hit Mythic with land destruction. So they're not legendary, thank you. But what this happens, if you're having troubles getting into Mythic, and if you would like more details on how to become one or the benefits you get from be... But of course, also, Thank you all so much for watching. If you made it to this point, it means you either really enjoyed the video or you fell asleep and I'm waking you up now. <laughs> either way, thank you for all the support. I really do appreciate it. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell notification. Come out with videos seven days a week.